Alright, hey, what's up, guys? It's A here for Weedy Tech. And first off, before I start the actual video, I want to apologize for not making a video in the last two days because since we started this channel, we made our commitment to make a video every day. But unfortunately, the last two days, we didn't get a chance to, so sorry about that. But now I'm going to get into this interesting episode of Tech News. Um, This episode is, is very, very speculated over, over the web. Um... Microsoft's Internet Explorer 9 looks to leak or look leaks to the web. <laughs> now, I find this pretty funny because in Russia, Microsoft's Russian website, um, supposedly some, I guess, Microsoft person, some Russian Microsoft dude, I guess, accidentally posted a screenshot. Accidentally, this type of stuff doesn't really happen in big corporate companies like Microsoft. I know Bill Gates is extremely mad, and fortunately for that guy, he probably got fired, but. Big corporate companies don't usually make mistakes like this because they usually turn out bad. But it happens to the best of them. Just like um, Apple leaked the iPhone 4 before it actually came out. But So, um, would it, sh it, 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 it gives, like, or anyway, the, um, the picture was taken down shortly after. But anyway, um, the picture, even though it's not a video or anything, still gives us a lot of inf information as to how Internet Explorer 9 is going to be different compared to the other ones. Now, first thing you might notice if you look closely at the picture is it attempts to offer a minimalistic user interface, which means that if you look in Firefox right here, follow the mouse, from here to here takes up a lot of space so that I have to scroll and also this up here a little bit if you look at the picture with Internet Explorer 9 none of that's there it's just all right up here so it's very there's like as much room basically as possible so that you could view the website and the toolbar at the same time I think that's that's really really good that's really cool and also another feature that's speculated about it that's not in the picture but it's like it's like speculating around the web is that um you could save certain websites and pin it to your toolbar right here in Windows 7 where your desktop and it'll like open in window when uh in Internet Explorer and some of them like say for example if you pin the uh YouTube or CNET or, or some big website maybe the Microsoft website uh to your bar it'll have its own little logo microsoft if if internet explorer recognizes it and um that's pretty much it microsoft microsoft also plans to release a beta of the browser at a september 15th event in san francisco so look forward to that however i am currently looking into actually getting a beta so that i can give the hands-on re review for you guys before it really gets out on the web so it's basically it for this little te episode of Tech News. This has been Isaiah for We Do Tech, and um, it's pretty much it. Thanks for watching this video. Subscribe, give the video a thumbs up. That's it. Have a good day.